let's talk about several indirect techniques used to detect fractures in the reservoir. First um, technique, vertical versus horizontal whole core permeability. Most sedimentary rocks exhibit greater permeability parallel to bedding than perpendicular to it. Most samples will plot to the horizontal permeability sides. If samples plot in or toward the vertical uh, permeability side of the equal permeability line, fracturing should be suspected. Second technique, core porosity versus core permeability. Samples that plot anomalously high impermeability are considered to be fractures. Uh, taking consideration that fractures may significantly affect permeability but may have little or no effect on porosity. The uh, third technique is maximum versus 90 degrees from maximum horizontal whole core permeability. If the measurements for the two directions show no, cl no clear differences, that's an indication of no fractures. But if the measurements of the two directions show extreme disagreements that's an indication of fractures usually we do not run unless specifically requested um, force technique core permeability versus flow test permeability if flow test permeability is higher than core permeability then no fractures are suspected. But if flow test permeability are extreme, extremely higher than core permeability, then consider to be fractured controls because it's above the normal range of measurement variability. A comparison of core and flow test permeability is often done to give an idea of the normal range of measurement variability. Core porosity versus porosity determination from neutron. Uh, this method assumes that core porosity represent a matrix porosity, neutron log porosity represent total porosity. Core samples that plot too low in porosity for a corresponding neutron porosity are considered to come from fractured zone, as you can see in the diagram. Problem. Fractured porosity is generally too low to observe numerically on a neutron log. Um, technique number six. Resistivity versus log porosity. When resistivity is plotted against log uh, drive porosity, the slope of the resulting curve is the porosity exponent m. If slope m is smaller than metric porosity exponent, then fracturing is suspected. Um, last um, comparison, sonic and neutron or density log curve separation. The neutron or density drive porosity is assumed to represent total porosity. The sonic drive porosity is assumed to indicate matrix porosity. The, the difference is assumed to be a measure of fracture porosity. Problem. Fracture porosity derived using this technique are in some cases and reasonably large. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, please 
visit us at optimalreservoirs.com. Contact me, Adele Foley. Thank you.